fetal circulation so firstly there is deoxygenated blood so this is from the upper part and what this does is it goes to the superior vena cava how does superior vena cava it moves on to the right atrium and from the right atrium the cycle starts that is in one way it moves on to the right ventricle after moving on to the right ventricle after the right ventricle it moves on to the pulmonary trunk and from the pulmonary trunk it goes to the ductus arteriosus then the descending aorta aorta then it moves on to the systemic circulation umbilical arteries placenta then moves on to the left umbilical vein then moves on to the liver then along with liver it combines with the liver combines with the deox deoxygenated blood this is from the lower part and this again combines and goes to the right atrium so broader view now looking from the right atrium there is another pathway where from the right atrium it moves on to the foramen ovale after foramen ovale it moves on to the left atrium after left atrium it moves on to the left ventricle moving on to the left ventricle it then goes on to the ascending aorta which then goes on to the coronary circulation then brain as well as the upper limb from the ascending aorta it then goes on to the descending aorta so this is how the cycle is and next from the pulmonary trunk as well there is a, it goes on to the lungs after the lungs it goes on to the pulmonary veins and from the pulmonary veins it directly moves on to the left ventricle so here in the step where the, from the right ventricle right atrium so here uh, in this step right atrium to the foramen ovale about one third is shunted via the eustachian valve and looking at the another step ascending aorta this contains about 10 percent blood so now indicating the low oxygen content now we are going to see what is high oxygen content in case of very high the pathways include these are very high from the right atrium to the foramen ovale to the left atrium to the left ventricle to the ascending aorta to the coronary circulation of the brain and the upper limb as well as to the descending aorta and there is another pathway here from the left umbilical vein there is a pathway of the left umbilical vein there is ductus venosus so this ductus venosus it combines along with the deoxygenated blood of the lower part and the liver to the inferior vena cava so here there is a step of inferior vena cava which goes to the right atrium so going back to the high oxygen content so this includes the to the liver from the left umbilical vein and from the placenta as well as the step of ductus venosus to the inferior vena cava and to the right atrium so these step there is a very high oxygen content so now looking at the opposite that is a low oxygen content low oxygen content will be the deoxygenated blood from the superior vena cava moves on to the right atrium and from the lungs this is low lungs to the pulmonary veins to the left left atrium okay so this goes to the left atrium next looking at the medium oxygen content the medium oxygen content um, includes the remaining that is the right atrium to the right ventricle to the pulmonary trunk to the ductus arteriosus to the 
descending iota to the systemic circulation to the umbilical arteries and to the placenta.